Well, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Tom Nelson with Midwest Miniature Guy, and we're going to do a real quick little video here uh, uh, dealing with the cleanup of some uh, pewter miniatures. And the ones that we have here are going to be uh, Kalos Dark Lore from Reaper Miniatures. Uh, this is their P65 version. They also have uh, the regular uh, Dark Heaven Legends uh, version, which is the regular uh, pewter. This is the P65 pewter. So you're going to be a little bit more careful with this one. Um, it's full lead, mostly lead rather than pewter. And the other one, which is also from Reaper, and this is going to be David Oakham's uh, winning miniature from... Uh, he was the 300th fan on Midwest Miniature Guy, and this is the Leprechaun on Owl. And as you can tell, there's some flash. And we're going to take all that stuff off. And the way that I do it, um, I mean, with the flash anyway, is going to be just uh, X-Acto knives and stuff like that. But I also like to use... Turn sideways, whoa... My handy dandy, dandy Dremel tool, and, and this really helps to uh, shine them up a little bit. I use one of the, the brushes, as you can see. And uh, I just shine them up. Uh, the other thing that I do, I tend to uh, give them a, just a little quick bath. Uh, I'm actually going to use that water right there, even though it looks red. Uh, there is some soap and stuff in it. Just give them a quick bath. So I'm going to set the camera down here real quick. And I'm going to give them a quick bath. Uh, this just gets some of the... Uh, some of the stuff off of them. Some of the oils and whatnot. This has some uh, Simply Green in it. Simple green, I should say, and let's just take some of the hand oils and stuff off. And I'll let them air dry. Yeah. You see some of the soap in there. And yep, I'm just using a I'm using a big brush. Uh, sometimes I'll even go in with a toothbrush and get all that stuff out, clean them up. So I'll let them, let them dry, and I'm going to show you some other stuff that I've been working on. Uh, these have been a bunch of uh, Space Marine Scouts and Servitors, a ton of these guys. Uh, there's even more down there that have been painted and ready for, well they've already been matte sealed as well. Uh, the other ones are the Orc Defcoptas. I got a ton of those. Uh, just a boatload of miniatures over there. Uh, the ones in the back there. I'll zoom in. Those are going to be my Lannister Knights. They're actually confrontation miniatures. But I'm going to paint them red and gold because uh, they have really cool lions on the shield. So they're going to be my Lannister miniatures for a game that I'm running. And then the one that I've been working on the longest so far, I'm thinking this has been like three or four months, has been the two-headed giant. Uh, I know that Mick Leach had painted this guy up uh, a while ago. Uh, this one I got from an old friend of mine. And now uh, I've got him. And this is as far as I've gotten on him so far. He's got some greens and purples in the skin, uh, most of the fur and the club is done, and of course the rocks are done. All this right here, the base is going to be rocks that I'll, uh, I'll add on later, and of course the obelisk here will be painted up. And to give you a good, good scale, we'll use this guy right here. That's how big that, that giant is. He's, he's a good size. So that'll be a lot, a lot of fun. I've, I've put in 
probably about five or six hours just into the skin alone. Probably another hour into the fur and the rocks and the club. The club still has some, I'm not, not sure if these are going to be metal. They look like nails. They could be teeth. Uh, he's also got some teeth up on his top of his head here. Uh, kind of like a little crown. And then he's, he'll have, uh, I'm going to redo this uh, chain around his wrist here. So that'll be a nice bright, well, maybe not bright, but dingy silver. I'll turn him on here so you can see his back. Lots of, uh, like I said, lots of purples and greens. And then also a glaze of the, the base coat just to kind of blend everything together. And I always like doing, like painting metal. Uh, this is uh, one of Trey Manor's black orcs from Reaper Miniatures, the Dark Heaven Legends line. I'm still working a little bit on the metal and the, uh, the skin tone. But that's uh, this is my my workspace down in my basement. I've got one computer there, and I've got my laptop there, and back in there is actually my, my drum room, but this is my, my art section with all my collectibles and lightsabers and all fun stuff. So, pieces of art that I've done. So, anyway, uh, this is a real quick video. Uh, I'm up to about seven minutes here, so... I will, uh, let's get working on the, the Dremel here. I set the camera down. Try and get in the shot. Oh. Move this out of the way. Well, I'll just take this Dremel, set it on the low setting. And just go to town. As you can tell already, maybe, he's gone from kind of a, a hazy gray to a nice shiny metal. Nice, put a nice shine on him. Uh, this will also help the primer stick on him a little bit better as well. Uh, you might be able to also see it better on the, on the cloak. You can kind of see, ooh, right here. It's kind of the hazy shade right here is nice and shiny as I'm use, using that burnishing brush to shine everything up. But that's how we do it. Um, I'll keep working on that. And we'll, uh, we'll get another video made here pretty quick. I'll show you what they look like when they're all signed up. And then I'll show you how I prime them. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day.